Also at the Capitol, a proposal to create a new seating section at your favorite entertainment venues. Yeah, these areas would be substance and alcohol free. Supporters tell our Olivia Young why sober sections would be so important. Colorado could become the first state in the country to have mandated sober sections. This would apply to the state's largest music and sports venues like Ball Arena. Colorado nonprofit Sober AF Entertainment sets up sober sections and tailgates at music festivals, concerts and sports games. It is a great need and a great want is what we figured out. Such a great need that Sober AF is now working with state lawmakers on a bill requiring substance-free seating at large venues. 4% uh, substance-free zone in all venues, over 7,000 seats. That would affect 13 venues statewide. The bill would require marked sections where use of alcohol, marijuana, vapes, and tobacco would be banned. Venues that don't comply could risk losing their liquor license. It was music to my ears, honestly. Vince Huseman is six years sober and now works for sober activity community, the Phoenix. At the beginning of my recovery, it, it was a barrier for me. I was afraid to surround myself with drugs and alcohol, so I would stay away from music venues, from sporting events where I knew I was going to be surrounded by that. But the sections aren't just for those battling addiction. Uh, maybe they're in recovery from addiction like myself, or maybe they're just reevaluating their relationship with alcohol or simply just trying to show their kids drinking doesn't have to be a part of, of having fun. It's an effort to be inclusive and keep people safe amid a fentanyl crisis and high overdose rates. This is the least expensive, least intrusive way to really support this community that needs our support right now. Rumley says the bill would require no government funding. It goes in front of the Senate Finance Committee in the next few weeks. If passed, it would take effect in 2027. Now, Rumley says some venues have had concerns about enforcing this, but no one has publicly come out against the bill. In Denver, I'm Olivia Young covering Colorado First. Now to a